Hello and welcome to another LEGO Train Mock Showcase video. We are back with another Thomas character and my first character strictly from the books. This is Neil. So Neil takes his name from the Nielsen 040 box tank engine design and in the books was the character to greet Scar Lowy when he first came to the island of Sodor. So the day I made this character model it was kind of late in the day and I thought, oh, I kind of want to build something, but I'm not too sure what to go for. I went online where some people were talking about Lego Thomas characters. Neil's name came up and I thought, you know what? That's not a bad idea. And well, here he is. Just keeping the camera at this one angle here, you understand everything that's going on with this model. It's so small, it's so square, it's so basic. But that gives it a lot of character compared to all the other models I have built. It's so different and unique and interesting and that's why I was so excited to make this. So the cylinders and the buffer beam go out to 8 studs wide. At first I wasn't too keen on this, but I thought to myself, well in order to capture certain details it does have to go to 8 wide. And at the same time I think that's okay. I mean this is a very, very old design of locomotive anyways. So not everything is technically to any kind of proportion or scale or whatever else. It was just, you know, it is what it was. And I think that's a good reason to make something like this anyways. With the locomotive design being an ultimately simple thing, I decided to keep the build style simple as well. So I do have quite a lot of standard large black drive wheels made by LEGO. And this was a good opportunity to use a couple of them. Medium sized drive wheels might be better given the old nature of this locomotive. But, you know, I feel like these massive wheels kind of fit. I mean, some early designs did have some interesting size wheels. And it feels better, in a sense. It feels a bit more right to the design. There's probably going to be a couple of people who will ask this in the comment section, but I will answer this on screen anyways. S and M stands for Sodor and Mainland. It's all detailed with lore in the Railway Series books. And Neil was number two of the three tank engines that were there on Sodor at the time. And keeping things simple continues with the cab. There's nothing major going on here at all. It's just a couple of tiles to represent some of the details. And once again, I have failed to put a minifigure here in the cab as well. Continuing on with simple things, I am using the single buffer piece that is used for a lot of sets. But I feel like all of this is okay because this is supposed to be a very simple design of locomotive to begin with. Not everything has to be so complicated. Yes, you could probably build this to have a bit more detail, but at the same time, especially given the circumstances of when I was building this, just keeping it simple was fine. So that is the end of the video, and that is Neil. A lot of people are going to look at this and think one of two things. Oh my god, you made Neil from the books, that's really cool to see. Or, who the hell is Neil? There's a lot of people like me where they didn't read the books, and I still haven't read any of the books and none of the stories properly, but you do discover some of the characters that appeared in the books and not in any of the TV series. So it is cool to build something like this, and besides, what a design. It's so different, something so old. This is, without a doubt, the oldest design of steam locomotive I have built in LEGO, and this was a lot of fun to make. And if you feel like you want to make yourself a locomotive in a couple of hours, this is an excellent design to go for, because again, look at this, it's a very simple design on purpose. So there we go, thank you all ever so much for watching. In the description you can find links to my Discord server where you can chat with like-minded fans of LEGO Trains and Nerf Blasters. Also down there you can find links to my Instagram and Flickr pages for some sneak peeks and behind the scenes action. Keep an eye out on my community tab for polls and updates. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.